Beans, beans, and more beans. That's what Pequot Lakes was cooking up yesterday and today at Trailside Park for the annual Bean Hole Days. Clayton Castle has a story. The rough weather on Tuesday night didn't stop the people of Pequot Lakes from celebrating the annual Bean Hole Days festivities at Trailside Park. In 1938, the bankers from the community asked the farmers to come back, come into town for the day. And then what they would do is they would bury a pot of beans and then they would serve it as a community event. And it went on for many years and then it kind of fell off and, you know, war and everything kind of made it stop and and then all of a sudden we decided to bring it back. I shouldn't say we, the people before me. The beans are trucked in from the west coast and cooked underground overnight to be eaten the next day at the festival. We truck them in from Washington, um, they're donated and we get 350 pounds of beans and they get here from a, a fella over in the, the, the Fargo area. I pick them up, uh, we store them for probably two weeks and then uh, we soak them for a full night before we put them in the ground and uh, we get them in the pots and mixed up the day before, add all the ingredients and do a little pre-boil and then the, the beans cook overnight kind of at a simmer. The festivities included live music, bean eating and even a coronation of the Bean Hole Day's king and queen. This year's titles were bestowed on to Lance Ray and Carol Parks. Parks recently moved to Pequot Lakes from San Diego and has volunteered quite often around the community. Whatever they need, they'll call you up and say, would you like to work this that day or whatever? Today I was selling t-shirts and uh, you don't know that you're becoming royalty until the time up. So this was a big surprise. This was the 35th consecutive year holding the Bean Hole Days festivities, although the celebration dates back 80 years. Reporting in Pequot Lakes, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. And it drew in people from all over the country, including from states such as Ohio, Alaska, and Wisconsin. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.